I'm happy this morning that uh, Minister Jutil will take this decision to launch an inquiry about all these, what they call allegations about the city of Montreal and about these eight inquiry about the Sûreté du Québec that are uh, okay, pending uh, about, uh, on the Montreal administration. If you saw the situation in the last, uh, I will say, two months, if we start to the to the allegation about the espionage against Mr. Bergeron, the Auditor General, we can see that for the last two months, the city of Montreal was not functioning at all. It's a sigh of relief, you know, and I hope that this announce uh, uh, will uh, eliminate the, the toxic climate uh, prevailing uh, for too long at the city. We, we need the truth and uh, it's so important that uh, uh, this inquiry uh, can eliminate the, uh, really the toxic climate. I don't know what the intent of the government is. All I know is that our books are open, the government can come here, he's welcome, we will give all the information, we have nothing to worry about. The inquiry that is being asked at the City of Montreal, I've been working on that, these investigations for years. So I'm the mayor that has done the most for Montreal to try to stop these allegations and when I had the information I called the police authorities and I gave them that information. Maybe members of my administrative team might have went too far, but the rules are very clear. You cannot investigate elected representatives or their, or their officials. And as a result of that, Pierre Reed might have went a little too far. I think he should not have done that. However, he, done it, he did it in good faith, and he did it to the best of his knowledge.